Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome to D Smith. Let's discuss. Man, this story is crazy in Birmingham, Alabama. The good old South. Kia Berry, her boyfriend, Eric Ashley, and her five year old son was arguing with some guys, thought it was done, then was ambushed by these individuals. You know what's crazy for them people to say F that child and F that that lady this young mother is crazy man. I hope they catch you guys. You deserve everything you get. So this happened a few a few weeks ago Police received a call regarding a car wreck. A car wreck. When they arrived, they noticed bullets everywhere inside were the deceased remains of Kia, her boyfriend, and her son. But check this out. Police believe the incident was targeted. As the trio was shot after an interaction took place. She joins us live from Echo Highlands Park where police say three people died. That's right. This afternoon I had the chance to talk with the family of 28-year-old Arkea Berry and her five-year-old son Landon Brooks. Now, police say a third individual, 28-year-old Eric Ashley Jr., was also shot and killed inside the car shortly after 5 o'clock on Saturday. The family tells me the two had been dating. Police say someone shot into the vehicle the three were in out here at the park after some type of interaction took place. Their car ended up a short distance away on a neighbor's yard riddled with bullets. Arkea Berry, who went by Kia, was described by her cousin as a devoted mother. She said Kia and Landon were like two peas in a pod and that her five-year-old son loved football and Spider-Man. He was getting ready to enter kindergarten. We spoke with a neighbor who was outraged that this could happen so close to her home. Patricia Ann Daly says she had reached out to the mayor's office in the past about the need for more patrols out here. This could have been prevented if the police officer just had a patrol. We're talking about we're talking about two 28 year old. We're talking about a baby that could have been my grandchild. And I am very, very upset. Gun violence is so unpredictable. Well, what, what can the police do, really, well, when you think about it? Nothing at all. About it, and I want the mayor to know, no, this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen again. They're now, in the short time that we've been out here, several vehicles have pulled out into this parking lot in Echo Highlands Park. And after they see our Mark News vehicle, they abruptly turn around and leave. Neighbors tell me that there's activity taking place out here that uh, they're not comfortable with. Now, police say this was a targeted attack. According to court documents, Eric Ashley Jr. does have a criminal history. However, police... Now, a lot of people are going to blame this individual. Who knows what went down with the uh, interaction with the uh, other vehicle? Who, who really knows what was said but once again you shoot in a car with a baby in a mother we're not willing to discuss motive with us anyone with information on the shooting is asked to please call crime stoppers that number is 205-254-77 So according to reports, man, Alabama is a dangerous place to be, specifically Birmingham, Alabama. Stands out for its high rates of violent crime. This large city struggles with economic disparities, which contribute to the crime rate. So you just heard the lady. Say cars are pulling up, then they get out of there real quick. Don't want to be on camera, right? So doing this most dangerous cities in the United States. Guess where Alabama 
ranks at, I want to say they are number 15. See Memphis, St. Louis, Little Rock, Minneapolis, Detroit, Kansas City, New Orleans, Cleveland. There we go at Brigham, Alabama. Damn, nuts, man. So shout out to Akia, her son, the boyfriend. Uh, you really didn't deserve this. Wonder why. Was, was it really that serious? Was it really that serious, man? The pool, to shoot the whole family. Was it really that serious? The, the answer is no, man. Come on, man. Fucking nuts, dude. Crazy, man. Pretty young lady right here. Yeah, so yeah, shout out to London, Kia, and uh, Eric. You guys will get justice. Let me know what you think. I'm out of here.